can just see how bad the flooding has been. And we've been hearing that uh, something like 500 properties in the town of St Asaf have had to be evacuated today. A hundred people taking shelter in a, a nearby community building and other people being advised to go and stay with their family and friends. This is the River Elwy that we're looking at, obviously not contained within its uh, usual banks at the moment. And these are the latest pictures that we've uh, had in from the helicopter which we've uh, sent up just to give us a, a, an idea of the scale of the flooding there. Well, a rest centre has been opened by Denbyshire County Council at St. Asif Leisure Centre. Council staff being assisted by members of the British Red Cross. But look, you can just see the misery for the uh, homeowners there who are living in islands in St. Asif uh, and uh, rooms on ground floors flooded there. And uh, you can see there a camper van which is going nowhere. Uh, people being told to go and stay with friends, as Martine was saying, stay with friends and family until the risk subsides. But looking at these pictures, it'll be some time yet before these floodwaters recede to a point where people will return home. Many people saying they're not sure they want to go back and see what's happened to their homes as a result of this devastating flooding. Well, we were evacuated at around about six o'clock, so our house is flooded. It's through the house. It's over your wellies, oh, a couple of feet. We'll go to family, so um, we'll probably be here for a couple of hours. We've just been to get milk and re replenish the biscuits. I woke up to hear the news that there was um, floods in St Asif. I'm Nigel Williams, the Dean of St Asif. Things are going well. Everything's kicked into place very, very smoothly, uh, and people have been tremendously efficient about the flood warnings and getting people out of their houses in good time, uh, and the provision here in the leisure centre is, is wonderful. They estimate that, that up to 500 people have been evacuated. Um, it's very hard to know how many people are in the Leicester Centre because people are milling around. Um, but th there's certainly quite a lot of people here and everybody has left their home from what I can understand so far. People are just concerned and a bit subdued, um, obviously not knowing what's going to happen because uh, the river's still rising at the moment and, and how many f homes will be affected. Um, so obviously their homes are still dry when they left them. They're not too sure as to what the situation is now.